unto you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye, and the shadow of your wings protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of all the, of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, hear with me, me one another through love striving to preserve the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace one body and one spirit and you were also called to the hope of your call one lord our faith one baptism one god and father of all who is over all and through all and in all the word of the lord Thanks, god. the responsorial psalm the lord lord this is the people that long to see you your face Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, Lord this, this is the, is the people, people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the phrase that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, you reveal to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it's going to be hot, and so it is, you hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the constable, and the constable will throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Saint Paul in his letter to the Ephesians, which we heard this morning, is very reminiscent of the gospel that we will hear on Sunday. St. Paul today encourages the early Christian church at Ephesus to live in a manner worthy of the call they have received with humility. That's the first words, with humility. Then he goes on to say with gentleness and patience. But humility is the foundation for that. This weekend on Sunday you will hear 
the gospel passage of the Pharisee and the tax collector. The tax collector standing in the back of the church, not raising his eyes to heaven, saying, Forgive me, Lord, for I'm a sinful man, as he beat his breast. And then the Pharisee in the front of the church saying, Lord, thank God I'm not like others. And then he proceeds to say what all the great things that he did. For us to live that humble life that God asks, that St. Paul encourages, it has to begin with us knowing who we are, self-knowledge. That is something that is very difficult for many because we're not taught that. In prayer, we're taught to speak to God as I am speaking to you. Pray, supplication, intercession, all these things. But we're not taught about the importance of listening to God. Or we know a conversation is not really a good conversation if it's one-sided. So we need to have that opportunity to allow God to speak back to us. And that is the hard part. Because it forces, and I mean that word strongly, it forces us to be silent and to think. How, who am I? How do I approach things? We're forced to face our own insecurities and fears. I, I was speaking with someone, they were talking about the young clergy of today. How the young clergy do X, Y, and Z, and they're very firm and affirmative on these things. I said, and they said, well, not you, Father Sosha. You weren't like that. And I said, oh, God, I was just as bad. Well, what do you mean? I said, because I was so scared. You know, here I am trying to establish my own identity. I, I, interiorly, I'm scared. You know, can I be this? Am I this? Is this why I was called? So, yes. And it's not until I got to 50 that I was able to go, ah, I've lived over half my life. I'm not going to see a hundred. Let me relax and be me. And people can accept me for who I am. Changed my whole perspective. Helps out tremendously when you hit 50. Okay. That you, you all will know that when you get older. You know, but. Now, the other thing that we do when we stop and reflect and we start to realize who we are, we face our fears, then we also know that we don't need to put on airs. I don't need to present to you, you don't need to present to me people that we're not. I was speaking to a priest uh, recently, he was telling me about someone, they kept throwing out these big terms. They had read a theological book and they were throwing out these big theological terms and the priest finally looked at the person and said, okay, yeah, but what does that mean? You know what their first word was? Uh, I can impress you. I can stand up here and talk about kenosis Christology. But if I can't define kenosis in a way you can understand, then what good am I? Why am I trying to do that? All these things we have to face whenever we sit and we're still and we're silent. Who am I? And then once I start to realize how much I mess up every day, then I can move, as St. Paul says, to gentleness and patience because I can realize I am so flawed, yet you are patient with me. You look past all my flaws, all my idiosyncrasies. Why can I not show you the same common courtesy and look past yours? Why do I demand from you something that you don't demand from me? That's patience, gentleness, to realize everybody's in the same boat. That's humility. So, let us every day take time, at least five minutes. Give God five minutes to speak to us. Just reflect, and the best way to do it is reflect upon your day. Think about the blessings that God has given you. Be specific. Be very specific. How has God blessed you today? And then, how have I responded? 
Look at yourself. Look at what you've done. And then say, God, help me. Why did I behave in this matter? Why did I think about these things? Enlighten me. Guide me. We do that. Give him time to speak back to us. I think that we become very humble, <coughs> very gentle, very patient. We become finally secure with who we are. And then we're able to love as Christ loves us. May I might copy with you. May he bless you. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our chapel this morning, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for Robbie Brew, for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We will the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Most Holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are she comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ who may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Turn him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, let not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you, Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord of Lord, 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 not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say his word, and my soul shall be again. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive and family. <clears throat> Let us pray. Grant the Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you, Thank you, God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when he humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through this world seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus on the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.